So ChatGPT has just released GPT 5.2. Is it any better than the other models? Well, like I'm a developer. I've been using Claude uh, Sonnet for a while and I've just switched to Opus. Um, so interested to find out, but it looks like it's just a small incremental increase uh, to get OpenAI just back on top of the AI race. What do you reckon? Yeah, look, it's... Gemini, Gemini shook uh, everyone's confidence, I think, by releasing Gemini 3 um, across the board with all its tools being so good. You know, it's, it's video generation, it's image generation, it's Nano Banana Pro, and it's just reasoning and text and code generation and everything. It just suddenly, as Google is now starting to get known for doing, they just, when they do a release, they go really hard across all these different it's modalities. So yeah. Yeah. It's really cool, right? And so we all got very excited. Um, and last week, uh, Sam Altman announced a, a code red internally at um, OpenAI. And the thought is that they were basically going, oh, crap, the zeitgeist is moving against us. People are starting to realize ChatGPT is not the best model, the not the market leader. And they are in a situation where they can't not be the best. And the reason for that is they have huge dealings with people like SoftBank and um, Oracle and a whole bunch of others who are spinning up data centers. And the deal for them spinning up data centers, the reason that, like, that the, uh, these other companies are willing to do that, those are massive investments, is because OpenAI has basically said, look, we are the market leader. We have you know, the huge maximum, uh, what's it called, uh, majority of the market share, um, you know, 80% plus of the consumer, consumer market. Most of the inference needing to be served is for ChatGPT. So if you spin up a data center for us, we'll guarantee that it'll be busy with its GPUs churning, doing inference. But if in the time it takes for them to spin up that data center, it becomes known that Gemini from Google is actually the better model and the market leader and the majority of, of consumers start moving there, suddenly OpenAI has spun up data centers that have nothing to do. So that's why OpenAI can't let anyone else be in front for too long, right? That's why as soon as Gemini drops something, OpenAI comes out with, you know, it already had 5.1 not very long ago. It drops 5.2, which just incrementally beats everyone else to say, hey, guys, you know, we're not, we're not killing it by much, but, you know, if you want the best model, we're the best model. Um, it doesn't try to do that across all modalities. I think you would still be a, a Claude user. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, it's great at tool use, Claude. Um, but also the GBC Codex uh, apparently is really good at reading context and applying that context. Yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. But I think um, this this race, we can definitely say it's good for us. It's good for the consumers because we are just getting better and better models and most of it is free. For now. Need help with 